you like in the locker room for this game? Uh, not good. Not good. Our guys knew it. They uh, we just let them pound us in the paint, just destroy us on the boards. It was that was an embarrassing effort on the glass. Uh, they just shot two foot shot after two foot shot after two foot shot, and, and we didn't do anything about it. That was disappointing. Was it just their size that gave you guys a problem? Or was uh, size and toughness and mentality. Um, they're not a good three-point shooting team, so they didn't shoot threes. They just decided to challenge us at two feet, and, and we didn't respond very well. So, um, you know, it wasn't many surprises. You know, we knew Butler was a good post player. We knew Loban would drive it right hand, and, and that's what they did over and over and over and over. When they're having that success inside, how can you guys try to adjust and take that away when you change the game? Yeah, we tried zone. You know, we, we, we uh, tried different guys in there. And, um, you know, a lot of it was, in addition to post-ups, was penetration. It wasn't one of those where, where we felt like we needed to double the post. And a lot of times we uh, ended up shooting, just shooting right over us, and the double team wouldn't have got there anyway. So uh, we're searching, obviously. We're searching defensively, and, and uh, didn't, didn't, didn't get many good results tonight. Maybe one little stretch at the end of the first half. But the second half was just uh, they got what they wanted over and over and over. Do you have to be especially tough on the guys at a time like that to try to bring that, that toughness out of them when it takes to rerun at that level? Well, you, you know, it's one thing to say be tougher, you know, but it's another to have that as part of your, your culture and your identity, and we've been struggling with that all year. We, you know, it's very, very common for coaches all across the country to say that their teams aren't tough. You know, everybody wants their teams to be tougher, but if that didn't, <laughs> if that didn't uh, spell it out right there, it was pretty obvious. Um, so, yeah, I mean, part of it is, is physicality. You know, we got to get in the weight room. We got to be stronger. We got to get lower. We, get, you know, for them to have the first half rebounds, to have the rebounding numbers the way they were at halftime, we're not even in foul trouble. I mean, if you're getting whooped, at least foul. You know, at least try. Um, if somebody's dominating the glass you, like that, you'd think we would have had 20 fouls trying to combat that, and we didn't. Do you think about just packing extra guys in the paint or trying to really just give up threes and kind of prevent this any way possible? Uh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, they made three threes, so I don't know. Uh, you know. Last game we gave up 18 threes, so we're just not a good defensive team. Let's call it call it like it is. I mean, we can tiptoe around it and, and say different things, but last you know, five days ago we couldn't guard the three-point line. Tonight we couldn't guard the two-foot line, so uh, we got to get better. Coach, is that disappointing? Because you've hung your hat on being a good defensive team the last few years. Yeah, it's very disappointing. And, you know, it was very apparent early in the year we weren't where we wanted to be, and then we started making some progress. Huge emphasis on rebounding there early in the season. Um, and then thought we were making some strides. And obviously, last week was a step step back in, uh, on the defensive end. Both those teams shot uh, high percentages, and points per possession against North Texas and Rice were bad. And uh, tonight was no different. So. We got to figure something out. You guys had won seven straight games here. Is it especially costly for this to happen at home? Uh, yeah, it, it, very, very costly. You know, it's we're, we're trying to stay in the hunt here and uh, trying to compete for that top pod and can't afford to lose. There's so many teams just jammed up right now, right around 500 within one game of 500. Certainly can't afford to lose any games, but not at home at all. All right.